Uh, has right, let me put this into, um, okay, right here. So, okay, whoever watches this, but here we are. Uh, in the uh, Web Summit 2017, here's what I want to do. Um, I would like to set up a new website, and in fact, I started doing this. Is there a way? Uh, there's no way for me to put this on screen, huh? Um, I actually started uh, doing this. Um, I just set up the domain name. That's it. Okay. Where's this camera anyway? Uh, it's right here. It's right here. Uh, indie tech dot rocks. And it currently says only you rock indie tech. And, and I'd like to fill this in. And what I'd like to do is um, I'd like to basically collect all sorts of products. And I'm focused on products, not raw technologies, but things that are easy to use, not just to to mess around with as a as a geek, but something that I can actually use for production purposes. <laughs> um, collect things that are easy to um, to use um, that basically don't screw us. And uh, I define the don't screw us, um, we can define it any way we want, but my thoughts are it should allow us to uh, control our data. So, and that's number one. Number two, it should um, give us options. Specifically, it shouldn't lock us in or you know, keep things hostage in some fashion. So we have the option to go somewhere else or to take the data out or, you know, or write a piece, different piece of code against the same data or something like that. So it gives us options. And number three, it shouldn't do anything uh, strange behind our backs. Like um, when I found out that the uh, genetic uh, analysis service that has my genome all of a sudden sells it to third parties, that's the kind of thing that wouldn't go there. <laughs> So and that, that some of that could be you know really web related, but it could be broad. And this, uh, for example, I'd like to uh, list if such a thing exists, uh, a alternative to the uh, Nest thermostat that you know does the same thing or something similar, but it doesn't um, that doesn't um, uh, do all the hermetically sealed you are tied into the Google Cloud kind of thing. So and especially in my project, I just want to you know, start collecting stuff. <clears throat> I don't know what, how to categorize this. I don't know exactly how to present this. Um, um, so kind of as a, a, a get started type thing, um, there's a really helpful repository of self-hostable um, stuff. Um, you can go to GitHub. It's uh, github.com slash kickball slash awesome dash self-hosted. Um, and we can throw that in the notepad at some point. But that has a pretty extensive list of self-hosted technologies from analytics and communication systems to file sharing, um, budget managing, like anything you could possibly host yourself. Um, I think that's a decent starting point. I think it needs to be curated for kind of what you were talking about with your points of being able to maybe draw out your data and bring it somewhere else or um, you know, making sure that those software suites are actually what, what we're looking for in the, the any web area. Right. Um, so I'm actually what I'm trying to do, this is perhaps extremely uh, inefficient here. Um, I'm attempting to edit this site uh, as, uh, as you just said that. Um, given that it's the nice thing about GitHub uh, pages is that it's really easy for third parties to contribute something with a pull request. It's not so easy to do live editing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I just... Did you set up uh, an Ethercad? No. Okay. I'm probably supposed to do that, huh? I think so. I, um, I'm not sure how to do that off the indie website. So if you know how, we can well, let's usually put everything there. Okay. At least my page just updated. That's good. Indie tech dot rocks, and it, this really is supposed to be a uh, a uh, um, not a page owned by anybody in particular. It's just supposed to be a, a you know, repository. Uh, I mean, not not necessarily wiki like that. Anybody can you know spam whatever in the, they want. There must got to be some kind of review process here. Um, but um, uh, but uh, it's supposed to be uh, open here. Um, actually, are you on GitHub? Uh, I am on GitHub, yes. In which case, I will I'll add you right into the, uh, it created an organization for this thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I will add you right there as one of the members of the organization, if you like. Uh, that sounds great. So it is just, um, let's see, how do I do this? People, invite member, here we are. What's your GitHub username? It should just be Mitchell Kaya. Yeah. 
Okay, how do you spell it? T C H T T C H E L L K I A H. You guys can see all the embarrassing stuff projects that I have on there. Oh yes. Uh, I there we go. Oh. So I should probably, you know what I should have done? I should have put this um, link here onto the uh, RC channel. Let's just wait. I'm going to check real quick and see uh, while you're doing that if we can some way share your screen. Yep. I'll be right back. Actually, this link here is um, that's in the wiki is actually going to the video desktop installer, which presumably lets me do something like that. Yes. Yeah, that should do it. I'm, I just wanted to come in here to make sure that was going to work. Also, I wanted to check if there's a cable because it's possible that works. I haven't actually confirmed. Whoa. We can try this. This might. Um, uh, want to try that one? It might pop in as a. That would be too awesome if it's just worked out of the box. Yeah. Um, oh, look at this. No, I was this one. I clicked on the link on the wiki and then install, and I end up here, and I'm not certain what to do. Now I'll go back and look at the link once it's open. It's confusing. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, what, why do I have VGA resolution? <laughs> that I don't know. Uh, but what I wanted to see was whether your screen shows up in here, and it looks like it does not, which is too bad. That looks like it's just controlling the monitor. Uh, actually, maybe this. Well, it's going to be really um, engrossing, like first ten minutes of this uh, recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That's okay. We'll do a recap and just cut everything out. Um, darn. That means it's not getting recorded. That means the screen won't be recorded into the uh, meeting. Oh. What happened there? Oh, it's gone. Um, you can hear my mic. In the client. In the client. So I can find out what uh, it's like on hover over that. That's not obvious. Oh, no. It's still the, it's still so, okay. And also the speaker near your laptop. Okay. Is that better? Yes. Yes. And if you screen share into in that client, there should be a screen share option. Again, I think you hover over it. Then I button. know it's what so bad. Uh, I think one of those uh, icons is the screen share button. Uh, five, six, maybe? Hey, there we yeah, go. Something's happening. And I see you on the remote as well. Uh, it lags. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, I see. It only shares this particular window here. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, fine. Here we are. This is the this is the site I wanted to set up. Indycat.rocks, and it needs content and it needs layout. The only thing it has is DNS. <laughs> okay. So, um, why are we here? What kind of things should we put on there? 
And I tend to think of there is um, hopefully stuff that works out of the box, like consumer level grade stuff. That's really what we want to get to. But then there's stuff that's more installation required, like I can download known and I can install it. It's a sort of installation required, but then known the hosted service is you know, end user ready. Um, and then, you know, so there's, there's probably hardware and there's software and there's services. I don't know how to organize this best. Maybe we could think of uh, like a top five or a top ten different functions that we would want to fill and then try and find a piece of software for each one of those functions and then have that as like a starting point. Okay. What kind of functions? Um, so I would assume you'd want some sort of blogging capability. Um, um, actually, so I would actually, let me see whether I can uh, put something else shared here, not just this browser window. Um, share. Okay. multiple virtual screens here and apparently it doesn't pick up the kind of the other screen here we are. Look at this. I'm sharing the eye. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you said uh, uh, blogging tools. Yeah, I'm just basically doing some very simple markup that needs clean up in an easy layout, but let's just uh, take some, some notes here. Um, potentially uh, file hosting or file sharing. File sharing, testing. Okay. Um, I think there's well, so blogging and 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 I think. Um, Generically, more communication kind of tools. You know, when we talk, I mean, the indie web world is sort of strange that we think of it as a blog, but much of the functionality is not blogging, it's communications in some fashion. Right? Where, where I come on a new blog and you go to mine, this is really a right. bi directional communication rather than a blog with comments. That's very true. So, so blogging, you know, communications, uh, I would put them all in sort of the same bucket and uh, social networking or something like that. Um, so I guess one one good question to answer is kind of what what is the difference between between this list and a, a similar list of just self-hostable? Uh, uh, so, so, so for example, I'd like to have a section that's IoT perks. All right, so not just software, but hardware as well. Um, anything, uh, in fact, anything. So, so the, the way, you know, I find myself going to a store um, and I want to buy something and sometimes it is, a, you know, I have a problem that I want to solve. And sometimes it is something that it has to do with publishing on the web, but sometimes it's something else like um, a webcam. <laughs> right, there are lots of webcams and one way or another are murky in terms of security and what exactly happens to your data. I'd like to sort of be, have a place, one place where I can go to and figure out, does a product exist? Does anybody think there's a product exist that needs a bunch of different uh, values, essentially? And if so, I'd like to buy that product instead of me standing at Fry's or wherever and trying to figure out which of those things might do what I want. Okay, okay. But it would be cool. So, for example, um, I had this um, terrifying experience with a name brand webcam that sent my data off to a third party that was nowhere mentioned on the website uh, nor on the, in the user documentation. And this was like a PC webcam or like a no, security it was a camera? Stand -alone, a standalone uh, Wi-Fi yeah, webcam. And um, so there was, no, there was no way for anybody to find out. Uh, the only way I found out is by accident because I looked at my home router and it had some strange traffic on it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd like to be able to basically, um, um, if somebody figures out stuff like that, they should be able to say, I, you know, I looked at this, I looked at the traffic and it seems fine. Um, which is much better than if I don't have that contextual information. Right, right. Okay. Um, I, so I, I am much more on the uh, 
software, self-hosted software yep. side of this. So like um, ideas like that are attractive to me, but um, something that I haven't done a lot of thinking about. So uh, most of the hardware that I would think of that would fill that would literally just be like a Raspberry Pi with like a camera attached to it, mm -hmm. which is not really a user-friendly solution. It's something um, that requires, even with uh, the, the cases, it requires assembly. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, um, so I want this, this to be much more for somebody who is in the, in the business of actually, or who has a problem of solving a problem, mm -hmm. not wanting to think of it as technology. Right. So, you know, if I, for example, um, well, one, wonder this afternoon what my dog is up to when I'm not home, mm -hmm. then I don't have time to assemble a Raspberry Pi webcam. I just don't have a webcam right now. You guys are getting questions about whether you're taking up the either pad. Uh, we're not taking notes, and either probably taking notes for right here. Um, yeah, which is the side business. We do not know how to set up an Etherpad. Oh, uh, go to the schedule, and there's a link for your Etherpad in the schedule. So we we can post this back in, but okay. we don't have to write it in the book list. Okay. Yes. So so the goal here basically is you know to create a web page, and we might as well do that. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll I'll start copying over. Oh. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it right now. Okay, cool. Put that in from the schedule. Yeah, I was wondering right now. Yes. Great. Yeah, let's look, what about this? Look at this. Um, at this uh, list here that you had there. So, um, say, is there a way for us to see the questions coming in? Maybe on IRC. Okay. So welcome to these archives. Um, maybe you can just put the simple link in here. Um, okay, it would be more useful if this sharing here worked by screen instead of a window. What about let's look at the um, at, um, this is the one that you had, right? Right. So Not some stuff. Else. Why does this not switch over? Just run away. Um, hit you this time. Just disappeared. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's almost like it crashed or lost its main window or something. I'll try to restart it so you know that that's something useful. Okay, you know, last time I clicked on this thing, this works better. Please close this tab. Oh, here we go. Alright, that's me again. It has gone from sick. That'll be better. Now, of course, I only have a red screen as opposed to what I actually have on screen. Okay, this is not working. All 
I, I don't know how to use this. Here's what I got. Oh, actually, maybe in this room. Okay, here we are. So what I want was share the entire screen. Right. Maybe this is the one. What is this? Change layout. Oh, that is nice. This is start sharing. I only have individual windows so in here. Uh, Unless it is Extron 2, which is what I clicked, and then everything yeah, went haywire. So that's the large screen there. I don't know if you can share your entire desktop. Um, so it looks like you're just going to have to go like one one at a time. It's just a little strange, if you ask me. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good way to do it. But. Okay, let me back here. Got this one here. Okay, this was what you wanted to. And let's see what it says here. Ah, there's all sorts of stuff. Yeah, okay. Th this is uh, this is all uh, useful. Also, a little bit out of out of date here. I think I don't think it doesn't exist anymore. Um, so I. Uh, so this is all. I think I misunderstood. I think this is so. This is all great software yes. that we could use as a starting point for fulfilling software needs. But if you're talking about uh, hardware as well, you know, um, if, uh, if, we're, if we're thinking about like having a list of hardware that you would say, okay, I want to nest, but I want to make sure that I have a nest that's not spying on me, we could put in maybe a list of solutions. So you could have a security solution and you could show, okay, well, here's Nest Cam and here's a possible alternative that we think is safer. Or, or I think you have the keyword here, solution. Um, yeah. I, I think there's a, there's a ton of lists and this is, I think, one of them. It's a, it's a good one. It's rather exhausted. But it, it's sort of pieces. You have to assemble something that solves a problem yourself. Uh, and it would be nice to, so, and that is useful. I mean, um, um, yeah. Hmm. Right. So, so what I was thinking here is, so for example, the, a lot of what's in here is it talks about the technology, and, and that's the kind of thing that I don't care about when I have a problem to solve. <laughs> right? Uh, if I buy, you know, myself, I don't know what I buy myself, but um, I don't really care whether Facebook is written PHP or something else. If I want those, you know, network with my with my uh, uh, friends. Um, I think it's maybe a matter of, uh, of selectively uh, copy pasting. Yeah, I think this was a good starting point, but I think we would need to go through this and pull out, okay, like maybe one or two solutions of if you want to replace some, some solution that, that you don't have control over, like here's our recommendation. Right, and then I also realize some of that is highly geeky, right? Nobody does that analytics except for geeks. Right, right. But I think this is a good, you know, if you look for um, VPN, maybe there's a, you know, maybe underneath that there's a piece of software that is, you know, a one or two click install where you could start connecting and you can host your own VPN to your own network. Actually, good point. Uh, that should be a category. I'm just editing this in the other window here. Um, Right. So, and then the other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to present that information in a way that it speaks to the people who have that kind of problem, not to the geeks. Um, so I think it should look much more like, you know, here's the icon and here's the rating and here's the, you know, and here's the, the, the little flags or tags that says what it is rather than, uh, rather than the, you know, here when we've got here GPLv3 and Pearl. Uh, that's not quite a tax I had in mind. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so this would need to be sort of like converted for a layman. What, if, if, you, um, if you thought of um, um, non-geeky people who might be interested in that one, what kind of things might they want to see? Was that Siri? Um, uh, could you repeat that last one? So, so you know, as geeks, we're looking at stuff like what's the license and what's the programming language. But I think as somebody who is looking for a solution to a problem, uh, we're looking for some other things. I, I think what might be interesting is like, is support available, or uh, you know, is there is there a phone number to call if something goes wrong, or 
is there is there a return policy, <laughs> right? Stuff like that. What, what, what would be the categories that we might want to list here? Um, I'm not certain. So I'm just going to get right down here, uh, categorize by um, product versus versus uh, versus service, for example, might be one uh, support available. Oh yeah, um, your point earlier about uh, um, ready uh, to use solution versus um, assembly required. What else might we have there? So far, and check them in so we can look at them again. Um, so, are you on? Do you want to hop on Etherpad now? So, that yes, you might actually be right about that. Um, just that way, people can follow along. It looks like we have a few people on the Etherpad. to put this right in here. That makes sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what would have been the easier choice to start editing here and turn into HTML later. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm just uh, <laughs> okay. Why don't you do the uh, list of category, the uh, product categories here, and I go down there by uh, categories by. Yeah, I figure you have a better handle on I think what what you're looking for for this. Um, so I don't mind doing the bulk of the, the note taking. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, the the the, the only thing that occurred to me is that I'd like to, as a consumer, not as a technology, but as a consumer, I'd like to be able, whenever I have a problem, I'd like to be able to say, what can I buy that you know, meets the values that I have? Mm -hmm. um, and there isn't a good place that I can think of that exists. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely not a user-friendly place. If, you're, if your best option right now is that you know, uh, list uh, on GitHub, you're at, you know. it, and it, it doesn't speak to me at the level that I need to be spoken at for the, when I want to solve a problem. Right. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't send you know your your mother there to go look at some some hardware or you know oh maybe you shouldn't use Gmail here's here's a better solution. Right. They look at that and then they would immediately close the tab. Yes. So for for example, uh, actually let me let's write down. Uh, I said three things up front in terms of what the. Uh, um, uh, what the values are that at least I have in mind. That doesn't mean they're the right values. Uh, incorporates the following values in the way I, how do I make this thing yet? Be a, a, oh, there's a button. How do I do something? Oh, 
Okay. It's user friendly. Okay, so the values that I came up with basically, uh, so um, I control my data, which is sort of an indie web thing. <laughs> And then um, I have options, and what I mean by that is basically I can leave the service without losing too much. Losing? How do you spell losing? Uh, L O S I N G. Losing too much, or I can fork. If it, would be, if, it, if it is open source, for example, I can always fork the thing. Um, I, I don't think this necessarily all needs to be open source, um, but it needs to be in a way that it doesn't screw me. <laughs> Uh, and the other one would be that I had is oh yeah, uh, nothing uh, happens uh, behind my back that I don't know about and cannot prevent. The caveat there of reasonable insurance. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, there's there's a question just how do you prove all of this? Right. right? <clears throat> Good point. All right. Um, all right, um, so it just took what, something up. What was that? Oh, that was just kind of a, a duplication of oh, what okay. you just wrote, but less less um, specific. So I just covered it. Um, User friendly way. Um, All right, so we have an idea of what type of list we're coming up with. Yes. Um, we have kind of an idea of the, the values of the hardware or software that we're using. Um, or service for that matter. You know, some of it can be a service. Uh, like, for example, if you take uh, word, WordPress.com, mm -hmm. then arguably it's a service and you don't necessarily even see all the code that they're running. Maybe we do, I don't know, uh, but we don't necessarily see all the code they're running. But there's a very good chance that it meets those uh, values. Right. right. Um, okay, so what's a good starting point then? Um, would it be identifying uh, a handful of categories or a handful of existing products that it would be good to find replacements for? Would it be coming up with uh, a format of how we would want to display this? You know, what type of information are we trying to show? I think we should have some candidate products, uh, because otherwise we have no idea of what we're trying to categorize. Right. <laughs> so um, you have used Nest as an example a couple times. As a negative example, as yes. Negative example. Uh, and, and WordPress, and let's, let's actually write them, write them just down here. For example, uh, services of wordpress.com uh, would be an example. Uh, one that you would want, or one that you want? That, uh, that I want, uh, no. Okay. Because, I've, I mean, they have my data on the service, but I believe you can download it and put it right. in a local copy of WordPress. So that, for me, is, um, actually, I get this wrong. Uh, so we're doing, oh, okay. we're doing something like, um, for example, you mentioned Nest as a, as a bad example. Yes. Um, so in that case, someone who is interested in a product like the Nest Security Cam might want that. So they may look and they may see on the list, you could organize it as, okay, well, here's the Nest security camera. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want this because it's inspiring you. Here are some alternatives that are kind of meet our values. Yes. So we could think of kind of services or products that we would want to replace. So come up oh. with. You would want to list actually the service you want to, or products you want to replace? Sure. Right, because then, then if someone... It's a bit more controversial because then people might not to be happy. True, but I mean, at least we would have a starting point of like what type of products, even if yeah. we don't name it, we would say... Uh, Somebody's there? Yeah, if you've... Uh, oh, okay, they're way faster than I am. Um, so like listing, and it doesn't even have to, we wouldn't have to say Nest, but you might say like a security camera or a smart thermostat. Maybe leaving out the controversial brand side of it. A closed, let's call it just a closed uh, security camera. Okay, does that sound right? Yeah. Uh, or IoT products, a um, a um, closed cloud integration.
created. We did a harm all stuff. I'm going to change this webcams category to maybe home security. And then in that we could also put maybe a smart door lock. Yep. Uh, I mean, you know, I have to say that um, I have a really hard time imagining that I would ever buy a door lock that is tied into somebody else's cloud. I have no idea what's in the lock mm -hmm. and, and what it's, you know, attack surfaces or any of this. I, I cannot imagine buying something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine buying something that it comes with a screwdriver and I can open it and I can see what's inside, what's the mechanics here, mm -hmm. and then I can flash some code on it. Or I know what the code, code is that has been slashed on it. I, I can't imagine doing that. But yeah, yeah, I I don't know. So yeah, I could I can imagine that as this list comes through, we could put you know like indie web verified or something and give it like a seal of approval. But, but you know, the, the fact if if we curate this list reasonably well, then we already there. Right. I mean, there's no, you know, there's no hard and fast kind of set of rules. It's all shades of gray anyway on on, on some level. Right. But very true. But uh, I think um, it's better to have a reasonably curated, not perfect list than not having one. Uh, and, you know, the, the nice thing about this is I think uh, within these categories, there are people that have done quite a bit of this work for us. So, for example, if you were to look at VPN or email replacements, there's, um, I think, that one privacy site is uh, as an example. Um, so it's, it's literally called that one privacy site. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's literally called that one privacy site dot net. Can you like, drop that into our yeah. That um, lists a um, yeah. well, I guess we'll just pop it on. Yeah. Okay, it's on IRC. Yeah. So um, this person is a pretty good example or job of looking through VPN and emails, uh, email solutions, and like kind of the pros and cons of each, uh, yeah. where they're hosted. Uh, so you know that that's a pretty decent place to to start with with looking at available VPN or email solutions that would meet kind of our criteria. That's not this right here to the. Uh, I mean, my expectation is that uh, you know we just put some things together here, uh, and over time we just kind of edit and add stuff with it. Uh, I think there's some some uh, homework to be done to pull these things together. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is definitely going to be a lot of offline time putting it together, but um, I think as long as we have a good place to stand before we leave, it's doable. Okay, so. I think there is everything related to um, web search um, and related. I think there's probably no perfect answers, but uh, you know, DuckDuckGo seems to, or whatever DuckDuckGo, or whatever yeah, the name is, <laughs> or, um, makes, makes pro I think, unverified ver promises. I'm not sure anybody has verified those. Yeah, uh, uh, DuckDuckGo and also um, Start Page. Um, just kind of our, yeah. Sorry. It would be actually cool if one had the um, ability to um, link um, more detailed information when somebody actually went and investigated. So, uh, could you like elaborate on that a little? Well, so, for, so for example, let's say, uh, I'm making this up, uh, but I would expect that some guy somewhere probably at some point looked at what exactly is in the DuckDuckGo cookies. Right. I, I would expect that kind of thing, right? Right. And he probably wrote a blog post there and investigated this. It would be nice if you could link to that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if this is posted, I mean, so uh, being relatively new to the whole indie web thing, um, I don't know a lot of the services that are available, but it seems like there's a lot of comments on, you know, the whole like micropub solution. Uh, you know, it could be possible that someone could almost comment on a on a particular item, and we could have like a, a list of 
basically um, sources. Yeah, yeah that, that, that would actually do. So one could basically turn, I mean, that would require some actually writing some software or uses some software because right now it's just a static page. Right. But well, there, there is the whole, you know, federated wiki talk that's coming on right, right. now. So that would be, you know, uh, using using the wiki style thing where we have okay this is this is our recommended and then allowing somebody to just link a list of sources for that one one item. So I don't know how much of the individual technologies are actually in the federated wiki. Okay. Uh, so so I'm just a bit not sure. Okay. I mean just as it look if it works anyway like Wikipedia, mm -hmm. you know, you can you can annotate and, and right and list sources, so you, you may be able to do it in that type of format. But do you get advantage of the kind of uh, you know, the, the kind of thing that you say where somebody posts something, they can just basically notify this particular site here that it exists, right. that it is automated, nobody has to do any curating. Uh, otherwise, you have to you know all these things and review them and then put the links in, and, uh, and that, that sort of works if you have a large enough community you have uh, wiki contributors and you have a police force around <laughs> the right. wiki, but I don't really want to get into all of that because that seems like a lot of work. Yeah, 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 no, still still going along with the, because like the way, the way that I'm picturing it is more so if you have like a page of products and then let's say you have, just reusing this, uh, the Nest home mm -hmm. security camera, you wouldn't want to have the Nest Home Security Camera and then just like post after post right. of here, like the, the verifications on it. So yeah, there, there's got to be some curation around that and editorial comments here. Right? Yeah, or, or even just a way to, to orient it so that it's not uh, like cluttered. Mm -hmm. um, you know, have it as like a bottom section or, or some some link to a page of verifications. How, how would you, if this thing existed and it had hundreds of products on it, how would you like to consume that information? Um, that's a really good question. Um, I mean, I could imagine. I mean, obviously, a category type search would be important. Um, okay. Where you would have, uh, you maybe start at home security, or um, you would start at, you know, social media, and you would click on that, and it would give you, I guess, maybe like a high level list, uh, probably with comparisons to kind of well known services. Um, just so that if someone coming in for the first time who's never heard of, you know, Diaspora or Diaspora would, would be able to know, okay, this is kind of like uh, Facebook or this is kind of like Twitter. Actually, oh, that's, that's true. That would be like, what's the best known, you know, the top, the top three best known uh, products in that category and yeah. how does it compare? Right. So um, if you've ever used the, the website Alternative 2, yes. um, you know, something like, something like that type of thing where you could look up software or look up a category and then it would show you recommended alternatives to that. Mm -hmm. um, with, the, with the key the distinguished features. Uh, it could be pros and cons, right? Right. So there's no reason that that should be in any way you know, biased in one direction. But you yeah. can just say, for example, um, Mastodon sort of looks like whatever the, the, the Twitter client is or whatever the, the thing is that they sort yeah, of copy. Tweet, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But with the disadvantage of, the disadvantage that I get out of it is that all the posts that I see are uh, Japanese and Korean. Uh, I, have, and I actually don't understand why I only seem to be seeing Japanese and Korean posts. That might yeah. be because I picked the wrong server or... <laughs> right, so like there's, there's not enough information about, you know, how to kind of work your way through the different <laughs> hosted servers. I have a warning. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that's a good one. And then, so then you would, yeah, we could simply organize this by the best uh, by the best alternative. This is an alternative too, um, and you would say sort of like I think it would good uh, make for good uh, search ratings. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because like, one of the biggest problems that I have um, looking through a lot of these, like um, the awesome self-hosted mm -hmm. or alternative to or really any other, is um, it's kind of like a lot of choices. So it's really hard to pick if you have 100 options. Mm -hmm. like, how could you possibly know what's the best one? Um, or, you know, you click on one, you're like, you read the descriptions, I love this one, this is the one that I want, and then you go to their website and you get 404 because it's not supported anymore. Right. Or you go to their GitHub and it's a 
updated their years. So we need to do have some information here. Um, um, uh, support status, yeah, some kind. Yeah, I think you had brought that up before. So let me um, pull this down here. It was like, this is very strange. I can see my notes here. Down there. It's up slow. Uh, freeze up. Um, okay. There's fresh coffee. Oh, that's oh. beautiful. Good. All right. And then, um, so for, um, with apologies in the video, for some reason this uh, screen is not following the Etherpad anymore. I'm joining you for the next session. Okay. okay. Well, um, we are about to wrap up. Keep an eye on your laptops. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm minimizing. I think we should like minimizing um, the uh, uh, number of recommended options. Right. Um, yeah, and with, like alternatives to this, some of these things that are lists are really not comparable. Um, check them out and say, why did this show up here? It's not a replacement at all. Yeah, yeah, making sure that things are uh, properly organized and not just by related. Um, There's a specific word for this, um, for the inability to decide because there's too many options, but I, I can't remember it. So if I, if I do, I'll edit that so it's not so <laughs> <bit> wordy. <laughs> okay, okay, I think we are pretty much out of time here. Yeah. Any final words here? I think that's a good start. Yeah, um, I will. How do we publicize this? I'd like everybody has an opinion to basically become a member of the uh, Indie Tech Rocks um, uh, GitHub organization. Yeah, they call organization and you just have everybody commit. So um, I'm going to add GitHub page here, and we'll throw Indie Web or we'll throw Indie Tech Rocks on there. So I assume people will be able to request access. Yes. Um, so this is linked on the schedule, so people will be able to see this after the session. Um, they can join on the Indie Text Rocks page on GitHub, and um, you know I'm sure there's plenty of people in this community that already have some good ideas of, of right. what type of uh, solutions we can put in here or categories they'd like to see filled. Yep. Sounds cool. Yeah. I think we're all done here. Yeah, it's because good. it's coffee time. Yeah. Um, Why do we stop the recording? That's a good idea. I. Maybe probably connected. disconnect, but I don't want to ruin the session for the next person. So um, <laughs> what do we do? Before I do that, I'll just uh, grab. Uh, 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 uh,